I feel like I've procrastinated on quite a few different things myself. That's why I'm happy that Nkem Ofonabo is here. Now, she's a purpose-driven woman on a mission to help busy professionals and entrepreneurs achieve work-life harmony. She's a graduate of psychology with a special executive management program MBA from Metropolitan School of Business and Management in the UK. Nkem is a trained life coach and neurolinguistic programming professional, and she joins us on Motivation this morning to talk about practical steps for overcoming procrastination. Omo, oh, <laughs> this one, I need it. <laughs> Everyone Ew. needs it. It's like you're talking to me already, and <laughs> you've not started talking. Um, but let's go one by one. First of all, let's break down what procrastination is as quickly as possible. Okay, thank you very much, Titi. It's an, it's an interesting topic, mm. and it's something I know that almost everyone struggles with. Mm -hmm. And procrastination, it's, it's a habitual and intentional delay. Intentional? Intentional. I'm not doing it on purpose. Most of the time, it's intentional. Okay, all right. Intentional delay to not starting mm. or finishing a tax. Okay. Irrespective of the negative consequences. Mm. Exactly. Okay. And most of the time, when you don't put in that deliberate decision, yeah. time, effort, yeah. everything into completing or starting or completing a task. It leads to depression, self-guilt, okay. and most of the time, low self-esteem. Okay, okay. So that's, probably, that's actually what procrastination is about. So, okay, you need to give me some advice here. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm desperate for this advice right now. Give me the first step to avoiding uh, or overcoming this procrastination. I would say the first thing is you being self-aware, recognizing that it's a struggle and then seeking for help. Okay. So now we've agreed that there's a struggle. Yes. So what then should we do? Mm. So the first and most important thing I always tell people is ensure that whatever tax, whatever goals that you are setting mm. connects deeply to who you are. Okay. There is a pathway to the vision of the person you are trying to become and you should also be able to answer that question, why? Why do you want to do this? Okay. Because your reason for doing that must be very strong mm. to keep you to sustain your energy and motivation. Okay. So that is first. Secondly, we are all goal-seeking individuals, and it's very important that we master the act of setting goals okay. and um, delivering well-informed outcomes. Because if your outcomes are not well-informed, mm. Uh, not well defined rather you you might not know exactly what it is you want to achieve mm. so it, that outcome has to be well defined so that's okay. the second one okay. the third one is you being able to identify your priorities mm. because there are a lot of things clamoring for our attention sure. and if you end up doing everything you might not that your productivity level might not be that, um, the quality might not be that much. It often feels like there are not enough hours in the day. You know, um, it often feels like it's not really my fault now. I was, I was, <laughs> this is what I was, I was doing this, I was doing this, because I was with the what kids. What is most Kids important. had their homework, you know, <laughs> and then there was a flat tire, there was this, there was that, you know, so it's not my fault now. But you have to find out what is most important and schedule your priorities. Okay. Schedule them, identify time blocks, assign time. Okay. for each priority and ensure that you focus on that time. Because okay. a lot of times we, we identify things that are important, but we don't also schedule it. Because when you schedule it, you, 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 that self-discipline to finish up within the specified time has to be there. Okay. So that's another important um, strategy. Yeah. Okay. All right? Then so we've, con we've co covered four or five We've now. covered four. Four, okay. So what's number five? Number five, it's very important that you have accountability partners or goal bodies. Okay. So that thing you want to achieve and you know that it's going to be a struggle, find people like minds that will keep you accountable, remind you all the time, okay, we have a timeline to finish this, what is happening. So okay. it's very important to have goal bodies or accountability partners. It's Someone that will keep bugging you, of keep course. reminding you. Of course. Or annoying you with reminders. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's very critical. And then the fifth one is actually self-discipline. Okay. It's a very critical personal leadership tool. Self-discipline. Self-discipline. Mm. 
self-discipline. So how do you discipline yourself now? So self-discipline says do it now, not later. Okay. So the, that whole mindset of I'll get to it later mm -hmm. is what I need to guard against. But what if later is actually not a bad time? to do it. Maybe doing it earlier would have been, you know, wouldn't have been as productive or you wouldn't have had as much time or focus on that project. Maybe later would definitely be, be better. So that takes us back to the second or the third mm -hmm. um, strategy that I said, identify your priorities okay. and then schedule them. Mm. So if you have identified it as a priority and mm. have assigned the right time for it, Mm. then you need to go back to the drawing board to mm. find out why you were not able to do it at that particular time. And it's also very possible that that particular time wasn't mm. the right time. So okay. you can, of course, review your goals. Okay. Review your goals and give yourself that room so you don't burn out. Okay, so let me take you a little bit away from the steps for a second and say with the people you've worked with and helped, um, what do people procrastinate about the most? Is it... Work things or family things? I, I find out that uh, people procrastinate a lot on personal things. Personal? Personal things. Oh, okay. A lot of people are so focused on work. Mm. Oh, I have this timeline. My boss is on my neck. I have yeah. to do this. And mm. they tend to move to the, every other thing around their personal life to the back burner. Okay. So um, it might be that they put both work and family ahead of themselves. So, okay, I, I know that I've been procrastinate about going back to the gym, you okay. know, self-care, self -care, right? And when you burn out, mm -hmm. you won't have the energy to do all those things. So yeah. they procrastinate a lot on personal things, self-care, yeah. maybe personal development yeah. and all yeah. of that. Okay. That's personal, like education, getting, mm -hmm. maybe you want to do a master's or you want to take another course. You keep saying, no worries, later, later. Okay, I get it. Uh, so are we still on track with the steps? I think we're at step number seven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Oh, we've done seven. That's oh, we've done amazing. seven. <laughs> we're on step number seven. That's amazing. So uh, for someone out there right now, we've covered six different steps. Hopefully they've heard this, uh, but we have quite a few more that I know you've put in your book. Mm -hmm. uh, please just follow us on social media. Use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. If you have any questions on how she can help you on this journey to overcoming procrastination. Thank you so much for coming to join us once again. Thank you. It's been an amazing month. And we have uh, hopes that you'll be back with us soon enough.